All right, here we go. Get settled in. Grab yourself a coffee, a glass of wine, tea, some popcorn, whatever. I'm about to say a bunch of shit that's probably maybe going to piss some people off. Maybe it won't piss anybody off. Maybe it won't even be seen. Maybe won't, nobody will even want to watch it. But I have to say this, okay? My my mom, I, I don't watch regular TV. I watch my Netflix shows. And as far as news, I get it from reliable news sources, not the fucking CNN or Fox or anything like that. I go with any, it doesn't even fucking matter, okay? I don't watch regular TV. I've never seen this show called The View. I do know a couple of, I don't even know who they are, honestly. I know who Joy Bear is. I think I waited on her one time. Um, and I know uh, Whoopi Goldberg just because she used to be a comedian and maybe dated, what was it, Ted Danson? I don't even know. Who gives a shit, right? So my mom recorded this episode of The View to show me and the whole main reason for it was because it was it had an uh a bit of it about um endometriosis okay so she's like hey there's some endometriosis stuff going on and bear with me because I have ADHD I'm sitting at the ocean and hey look a seal anyway back to the point um so I was super interested because it has endometriosis stuff on it. And my daughter has endometriosis. As you know, we went through this horrific episode for her. She's been through many episodes of it. And uh, it's a lifelong thing that you have, right? So good. We wanted maybe to get some information. That would be great. It just so happened that there was also a bit on there about Hillary Clinton and her take on the Israeli-Palestine shit that's going on. And um, so that was interesting. My take on that is probably gonna go get fucking a lot more than my take on the endometriosis shit, but here we go. And then there was also some stuff about millennials and their struggle to survive this current status of America or the world that we're in right now. And I don't think that this is just about millennials, but it was focusing on that. All right, so back to my first issue. And um, I'm sorry, but I will never watch that show again. Not as long as Whoopi Fol fucking Goldberg is on that show because that woman was, I'm sorry, showing her boomer. She is not up to date with things. She speaks out of her ass. She does not speak with any sort of factual information at all. And wouldn't you think that she would maybe do a little bit of studying some of the issues that are going to be on her fucking show that day or each episode? I'm sorry, but okay. So here we go. So the thing was about endometriosis okay endometriosis and the gaslighting of women in the medical field in according to the doctor that was on there um it's a you know it's a worldwide issue i'm sure it is i think seeing how my daughter was treated for it in denmark versus how she's been treated for it in america i think that from my point of view, it's a little worse in America, especially the gaslighting bullshit, but I digress, okay? So, oh, a dolphin too. Anyway, um, so, some of the information was good. It really wasn't anything new for me because I've been doing a lot of research and educating myself on this matter because it is very, very close to home for my daughter. And um, it doesn't take a lot to educate yourself a little bit. Whoopi Goldberg, I feel, did such a huge disservice in, in her, her statements that she made. The whole idea was to bring awareness about how bad endometriosis is and how chronic and lifelong it is. And she goes on there and the doctor's talking about um, how bad it is. And there was, I guess they did some 
research study where there were four women involved and it shows how chronic and lifelong and how horrible it is. Whoopi Goldberg says, yeah, I had it once too. And it's, and she says, you know, I hate to get gross or anything, but you know, women don't like to talk about the smelly discharge and the cottage cheese that comes with it. What the actual fuck, Whoopi? That is not endometriosis. That is bacterial vaginosis or a yeast infection. And she said she had it once. You don't have endometriosis once. It's lifelong. It goes along with the hormones. It is how the female bodies, the lining that forms on the inside of your uterus, in people with endometriosis, it forms on the outside of your uterus. You don't get smelly discharge and and cottage cheese and a, and a, a, a what did she? Oh, a UTI. That those are not endometriosis, and you don't have it one time, and you don't get rid of it with an antibiotic. It might cause other problems, like my daughter when she had it, it attached itself to her intestines, and she ended up with um, an a severe intestinal infection from the endometriosis, but it doesn't cause yeast infections and bacterial vaginosis, okay? And so the fact that no one on The View, including the doctor that was sitting there, corrected Whoopi, really, really disgusts me, pisses me off. I mean, oh, another seal and another dog. Anyway, The View, you have a responsibility to fix this. You have a responsibility to correct her when she's wrong, okay? She is a 68 year old and maybe when she had her bacterial vaginosis or her yeast infection, maybe the doctor at that time told her she had endometriosis. I highly doubt it, but maybe she did. they did. However, a quick look at what endometriosis is now, if she had done just if she had just read a little bit, just even the description of endometriosis, she would know that she didn't have it, okay? And she just wiped out so many horrific experiences that women have by just saying, oh, I had it once and I got rid of it with antibiotics. You fucking asshole. No, that's not how it works, okay? Endometriosis doesn't have a cure except for maybe getting rid of all of your lady parts, okay? And it is really hard to control and it is a factor of being gaslighted, women being gaslighted into thinking that A, the, um, the pain is in their head or in their mind or they're, it's just stress or you know it's really not that bad or it's just something that women have to go through, okay? My, I've seen it with my daughter in this country. When she has had a flare up, I've seen coworkers say she was just trying to get out of work. I've seen people say that she was making it up. I have seen doctors say, oh, it's just, uh, you know, you just have painful periods. No, she has a chronic, horrific, lifelong condition that is so severe that no man can wrap his head around it. And this stupid old fucking boomer came in and used some old information that she maybe thinks she had to basically discredit what all of these women are going through for years. And um, the fact that everybody sat up there and didn't say a word to correct her is, is just atrocious. I, I'm so fucking angry right now. And, and I'm sorry. I, if she comes at me, oh, I can't even imagine that she would. I have like what, 20 viewers. If she was to come at me, I, I'm, I would be actually afraid because she would do what she does. And I can tell you in the small bit of time that I watched the show, she would talk over me, make a fool out of me and think that she was right. And she wouldn't be because she doesn't like to, to listen to actual people. She just likes to listen to herself. Okay, rant over. I'm going to post this.
and I'm going to come back and post some more.